Hello, and welcome to Unix Administration, CNE 251. I'm James Johnson, and I'm the instructor for this course. This course helps you learn to manage and administer a Unix slash Linux network. As a network administrator, you may be responsible for working with different network operating systems, including Unix and Linux-based systems. This course will provide the information and practice you need to build the knowledge and skills necessary to manage, administer, and support the security services and tools in the Unix and Linux operating systems. The course will also help you prepare for the Linux Plus certification exam. As you might suspect, this course requires substantial reading from the text as well as considerable time online with the VMware-based online labs. The more you learn in practice with the images, the better you will be able to perform in a real environment. To get the most out of this course, don't procrastinate. Keep up with the suggested schedule to avoid any problems. The textbook for our course, let's get that before we go. Remember, you must have the correct textbook for the course, Linux Plus Guide for, to Linux Certification. We're using the third edition by Course Technology. If you've gained access to the course but have not yet ordered your book, be sure to let me know. You can order the textbook through the Pierce College Military Program Bookstore at the MBS website. To start the course, review this module and read the welcome message in the course inbox. Also, please view the video welcome message I've posted. It's this one. After you've finished this module, I would like you to go to the next module to start the course, either by clicking on the right-hand Next button below this frame or by clicking on the Modules button on the left-hand navigation menu of the course. Be sure to print the syllabus and place it in your files. You may need it in the future. Our course materials are in modular format, meaning everything you need to be successful in the course is presented in individual modules. Click on Module 1 and work your way through the module. Modules contain everything you need to be successful in this course and should be completed in sequence. Again, the modules will be presented or present the material in various forms and will conclude with assignments and or assessments as reflected in the course schedule. Again, course modules contain everything you need to be successful in the course, including chapter PowerPoint presentations, hands-on labs, homework assignments, and quizzes. Additionally, in the first module, you'll find an assignment, a discussion. You should compose a short introduction of yourself, telling the rest of the class a little bit about yourself, such as where you are in your studies, your goals for education, and what you'd like to get out of this course. I've posted my short introduction there already. The introduction is worth up to 100 points if you complete it during the first week of the course. Fewer points if you complete it after the first week of the course. Please take a few moments to get acquainted with the layout of the course interface. It can be a little overwhelming at times, but if you've gone this far in Canvas, you're probably familiar with it. Anyhow, take a look at the course navigation menu on the left of the home page. It has links to the areas you need. The course has hands-on lab assignments worth 100 points each. Homework assignments also worth 100 points, and quizzes worth 50 points each. All activities are located in the course modules. Additionally, there are midterm and final exams, each worth 250 points. As a note, the system uses my exact answer to grade your response for written questions. I grade the homework by hand after you've completed it, as your answer may have a typographical, that's spelling, or gr uh, grammatical errors in it. So please don't worry about it until I've at least looked at it. Should you disagree with my answer, please let me know, but have the exact page reference in your message. This is a highly technical course, and I use answers from the book to be fair for all students. All hands-on labs must be completed satisfactorily to pass the course. My grading policy is that all work is based on the textbook. To be consistent and fair, all answers for assessments, projects, and assignments will be from the book except as noted. Although technology changes daily, we must be consistent in our approach to ensure a level playing field, and will rely upon our text for the correct answers. I'll be happy to discuss any technologies with you outside of the assessments, but for the assessment itself, stick with the text. As mentioned in the previous section, I grade homework by hand, as your answer may have a typographical error, so please don't worry about it until I've ha had a chance to look at it. Should you disagree with my answer, please let me know, but again, please have the exact page reference in your message. 
This is an intermediate level of the course, and I use answers from the book to be fair for everyone. The goal of the course is for you to be able to learn and understand and explain and show how or why Unix Linux operating systems work the way they do. Unfortunately, some believe it's okay to copy answers found in other locations and submit it as their own work, as proof of their learning. Conduct such as this is unacceptable. Submissions believed to be plagiarized will be returned on the first occurrence. Should there be a second occurrence, the submission will receive a zero grade. A third occurrence will result in an immediate 0.0, .0 for the course. Submission of any homework assignment indicates an agreement with my plagiarism policy. In most cases, you'll have about 10 weeks to complete the course. Should unforeseen circumstances cause the need for an extension, this can be arranged between us. However, extensions will not be assumed and or guaranteed and will only be granted upon request. To qualify for an extension, you must have shown continuous progress and completed at least 25% of the coursework with a passing grade that's a 2.0 or higher at the time of your request. Special circumstances may be taken under consideration at my discretion. There are no provisions for extra credit for makeup work or poor makeup work for within the course. So I strongly suggest that you adequately prepare for and put forth a full effort into completing the course requirements. If you have any questions, problems, or otherwise need to contact me, I can be reached via the email in the course mail system. Just click in the inbox located in the upper right hand uh, corner of the screen to start your messages. We will use mail and discussions for communication during the course. Again, welcome to the course. I hope you enjoy it.